Oh yeah, baby, it's time once again for another episode of This Old Outboard. Oh yeah, baby, here come the parts. They just rolling in. <laughs> Gonna get that carburetor soaking, cleaned up today. And uh, still got one or two more parts coming in for it. And uh, today's the day, clean her up, soak, bang, bang, boom. All right, baby, you can see over here, I've got a lineup of uh, fuel system cleaner, carb choke cleaner, brake parts cleaner, and I'm even gonna spray a little PB blaster on this puppy. Just wanna get me a combination of chemicals in here and, uh, and let her soak down, clean it up, and should be pretty good to go. So, anyway, come on, PB, get out there. Shoot a little in here. And uh, that's the end of that can. Anyway, I like to use uh, injection cleaner. Let it soak a little bit. And that works pretty good. Get some of the cheap stuff at Walmart or your dollar store. I'll be screwing around with this throughout the day. Let it soak down. Spray some car cleaner in there. Just get a mixture of everything, you know, because there's really, one of these days, somebody's going to invent something that's just going to clean these things like a whistle with one shot. I haven't found it yet. supposed to be soaking deep. You can see in there, I shot a bunch of uh, carb cleaner in there too. Want to get down in there through the uh, where the slow speed needle goes in. And part of that damn cork float stuck in there. Anyway, let's get this all back to soak in here. All right, baby, today's the day. It's uh, Saturday, overcast, raining, unfortunately. Hopefully, it's not going to get rough <clears throat> and run me out of here. Today's the day. Got the car. Parts are, I believe everything is in. Uh, I'm gonna get this baby put back together, finish cleaning it up, get it back on the 40. It's been soaking almost a week. And uh, I put some two-stroke oil on top of my mix to keep the mix from evaporating. So the oil keep it, kept it from evaporating and we blow it all out, rinse it all out, a little brake cleaner, a little carb cleaner, and bing, bang, boom. So I just took everything out of the uh, mix that I had, and I'm shocked, man, look at that. Damn, and the needle, look how clean that needle came out. I haven't even sprayed it down yet. That, that turned out to be a pretty good mix. Um, Maybe it was the uh, the PB blaster I threw in there. I don't know, but it did a great job. That's it. I haven't even sprayed it down yet. So wow, yeah. Remember that formula? Um, little PB blaster I sprayed in there. Uh, brake cleaner I sprayed in there carb cleaner I sprayed in there STP fuel injection fuel system cleaner poured that in there I mean that's the cleanest I've ever seen anything come out and then I let that soak for a day or so then I pour a little bit of oil in it two stroke to keep it which was actually this Kawakim jet ski high performance oil pour a little bit of that in there that was given to me and uh to keep everything from you know because it'll just just disintegrate disappear in this heat we've been having luckily we're back on track with rain again anyway they look these parts look great man i'm shocked all right so i'm still in awe at this <laughs> so first thing i'm gonna slap in there my new needle and see 
Line up my pen. I think it goes this way. Nope, it goes the other way, I think. Huh. It's snug on both ends. It might be a little bit swollen up from being in that damn mix. One side's a little bit bigger. But it is a little swollen up. It's one thing about the plastic parts. Got to be careful soaking them. Yeah, I'm not going to touch it for a while. Let it, let it try to dry out and shrink back down. All right, so next. Well, next would be my gasket and the bowl. So I almost have to touch it, but let's go move it forward to here and get this puppy back in on the bowl. The two plastic washers go in. Well, first one goes in. It's in there. And then this is what they sent me the packing washers in this envelope. They seem to be a little thinner than I remember the last time. And then two of those puppies go in. Straighten this one out. And the other plastic. Now you don't want to tighten this down until you get your needle set. So we'll put the needle all the way in, back it out one and a half, and just give this, just get it a little bit snug. All right, so she's in there, seated gently. Don't really have to worry about that needle too much. All right, so there's one and a half. Now, snug this down a little bit so it keeps this fairly tight. We're good. All right, so let's come back because it's ready to go on other than the gasket. And oh, I've got I bought two of these. It's just the nozzle gasket goes on top here. It's snug. This hinge pin, let's see if it'll slide on in now. It's moving, but boy, I bent it up here at the top. It still wants, to. looks like I might even broke it a little bit. No, I don't think it's broke. By golly, I do. But, is it the right size? Yeah, it's, I think they're all the same. Came out pretty easy. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. I think it should be. Or not the bottom of the bowl, I mean the top of the bowl. See how it's hanging too far down? It needs to be left right with the lip of the top of the bowl carb, bottom carb here. Yeah, that looks good. See how level that is? Boom. Oh. All right, so gasket. Get rid of all these crap over here. That's empty. And gasket. One thing I did forget, which I think I'll be good on, is the gasket, carb gasket to intake. I think it looks pretty good. It should be all right. Mm. Ooh, that looks so pretty. 
All right, so that about does it on the carburetor. I mean, that's a rebuild on a freaking carburetor. Evan Rude, Johnson, pretty easy stuff, right? Um, this is, you know, I don't even know why they call it a rebuild. It's more or less a replace. You know, a few parts and uh, clean it up. Bing, bang, boom, baby. Very hard, very hard. That's what my music teacher used to say. But he was just being sarcastic. All right, so before I put that thing on here, I'm going to check that solenoid. I did pull that housing off and it was all it looked greasy inside there. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. And also before I put that armor, go around this thing and take a real good look at what, what's going on here. I don't know if you want to come with me or not. Yeah, you're coming with me. Oh yeah, baby, you know the channel. Don't forget to subscribe.